hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to parse a website url and extract some basic information about it such as host name query string host uh, path name etc in javascript so for this i have written a complete blog post on my website here the link will be there inside video description so for starting this uh, for parsing a website url just make an index.html file and the source code will be there inside video description you can just follow along with the video so i am just including a simple html template let me just change the title to javascript url parser so we will be extracting some basic information about any sort of url that you pass so we will be doing it in pure javascript you don't need any sort of external library just make a script tag here and inside the script tag we will in, uh, pass a url so we will use the url constructor here like this url constructor so this is a basic syntax in order to initialize any sort of url so here inside this double quotes here we will pass our url which is freemediatools.com you can see this is our url now first of all in order to extract the basic information we will console log first of all url dot in order to extract the host name there are various options you can see here first we will extract the host name so now to uh, open this with live server you will see if i inspect element and go to the console window so it will show me the host here which is in this case is freemediatools.com so host name is that portion which is followed by a slash slash symbol here so this portion which is the domain name which is called as host name the second thing that we will get is the path name so let's suppose you have a particular path here to your resource here encrypt pdf so this portion is called as the path here of the url so now i if i want to print this url dot path name this is a property here if i now refresh the application you will see now it will show me only the path variable here you can see after the slash symbol the slash sim symbol is also involved here so you can just change it to any uh, path you want like this some other path as well so this will also count as that so you can see that so this is the path here the next property we will show you is uh, the href property which is the actual url so basically it is contained inside url dot href you can see url dot href so now you can see we can also print out the whole url you can see this is the complete url which is there of the website here you can go to this url click this url this is clickable this will redirect to my actual tool website that i have here so this will translate to the actual href attribute so now the fourth property that i want to show you is the hash symbol let's suppose you have a hash symbol here uh, after this there is a hash symbol here hash and some value which is my name here now to print this only this value we have a attribute which is called as the by the name of hash so it will print out the hash symbol here slash gotham will be printed out on the console so you will see this will value is printed out you can see so whenever you open this value here slash is attached to it so you can see this value we have successfully extracted so many a times you will be able to work with these values so that is why i just wanted to tell you how to extract the hash value next is the query parameter query parameter is very common in uh, website url let's suppose after this we have this question mark and then we have name is equal to john and uh, age is 23 so these are after the question mark these are query parameters inside the url now to print these uh, urls only this query parameter you, you have a property which is called as uh, params i think this is uh, uh i think uh yes url dot search params so this is a property here and you will see it will return an object i think it is uh, url dot search 
So now you can see it will print out the complete value here. You can see question mark name is John and age is 23. So it will com completely print out all the search parameters that we have inside the query parameter inside the website URL. Now let's suppose you only want the individual value here, which is name is equal to John and age is 23. So you need to be extracting these query parameters for that. We have a way to do this, which is console log. If you console log it and URL dot search param params here and now we will get only the parameter which we want let's suppose we want the value of name which is called as john here so it will print out john here you can see name is the parameter name and the value is associated which is john here so i can similarly print out the age as well which is in similar fashion we will url dot search params and we will use the get method which is there inside this get and we will have h like this now you can see it will print out 23 and now let's suppose you want both the values also the name and also the age at the same time so there is also a second method which is available inside this class here which is if you just console log it url dot search params and there is get all method here so if you just type here get all so it will print out all the parameters which are there so you will see uh, i think you need to provide a value here so name so you can see if you have more than one value let's suppose this returns a array here so in in my case only one value is there you can see if you have more values let's suppose you put a comma here and you put another value which is smith and now you will see it will print out both the values john comma smith because there are two parameters which are there which is separated by comma here so john comma smith so it will print out both the values so for that purpose you will use the get all method so in order to print both the queries values sorry so this was the all and one more thing you can print out which is i think the port number as well so url dot search params oh sorry url dot port there is a port parameter also and a protocol as well so whatever protocol that you provide either http or https mm -hmm. this is accessible by this uh, uh, i think yes uh, i protocol you can see so in this case this will be https so you will see https colon and the port number is not attached here default port number 80 but if you just change this url let's suppose i change this to localhost localhost uh, 500 let's suppose i provide the port number to and now you will see it will print out this port number as well which is 5000 so in this case guys you can easily parse any sort of website url and extract some basic information about that url so this will be unique for every url so you can perform this using pure javascript that i shown you this method here and for the reference all the source code will be there inside the video description you can just go to the blog post and read step by step all the instructions are given with images so before leaving the video please check out the web free media tools website so this is a tool based website which i developed in node.js and express and uh, please check out this website uh, many tools are there and i will be seeing you in the next video